I'd like to be on Mr. D. I think Jerry's very funny, and I'm pushing him hard to get the wealthy barber on the show. He seems completely disinterested. In fact, has told me to stop bothering him. Can you imagine if I was on Dragon's Den? <laughs> He'd be an excellent dragon. Could I be a dragon? I want to see you doing your calculations with someone's pitch, and to write down, and just like, how much in sales? How much in sales did you do last year? I'd like to see you doing that. I would like to punch Alan, because he said he takes a lot of punches, so I would like to be one of those guys. I'd like to steal his car. I'd like to be his nemesis. I want to go on Heartland. I've already been on Heartland. Really? Yeah. I want to Heartland. I want to ride some horses. I think I would want to be on something very contrasting to Heartland, like Cracked or Doyle or something where I could go and be involved in like an explosion or a gunfight or and I'd want to play a really evil character. I would like to pitch on Dragon's Den. What would you pitch? I don't know yet, but I... Oh, okay. I, I would definitely play the long-lost adopted brother on Republic of Doyle. <laughs> I'd be on Republic of Doyle and I would be some like motorcycle um, drug smuggler kind of guy. Dragon's Den. Murdoch Mysteries. I would be on Murdoch Mysteries. Hands down. I'm yeah. solving cases, yo. Solving cases. Wow, okay. That's it. I'd be on Dragon's Den. Hands down. I love business. I love the entrepreneurial spirit. I respect a lot of the panelists on Dragon's Den. That's right up my alley. I'd love it. I would have my uh, 1986 uh, five liter Mustang T roof Cobra, uh, and I would uh, dust Alan Hocko uh, on the Republic of Doyle. Uh, that beater of his wouldn't even have a... I'd be at Signal Hill, and he would still be uh, down on George Street.